All right, everybody, welcome in. Uh, week two, kicking off strong. We've got tonight, Backroom Bandits first Burst Disciples. I'm going to keep this quick because I do not want this to take long. Sorry, we're starting so late. Backroom Bandits, Team Captain Pryro with the squad, Snipe, Sarah, Dorman, and Subbing for Chainsmoke tonight will be Osmosis. Um, and then on the other side, we have Team Captain Kulik with his squad. I can find the screen here. This yellow is hard to read. House, Murasaki, Ozzy Oslet, Ant, and Poop. They're all here tonight. Let's take a look at the map bands for game one. Uh, so this is kind of weird, though it looks funny because they only have one map band. What, how it's going to work the second half of the season, these two teams are going to face off against each other again. We're going to see Flashpoint one more time, and they will have the other team will have choice in the back half of the season. Uh, I'm just setting up the map right now was New Junk City. And we're not going to delay this at all. We're just going to get this rolling. And we are a go. Now, these two teams both fresh off a, a loss last week. Back from Bandits tied for fourth. Bush Disciples in last place. Oh, I chose the wrong one. Uh, show Lobby. Back to Lobby. Servasa. I misread it. Initiating the match. All right. This makes way more sense. Servasa, fan fucking favorite. We are here every time we play uh, this uh, game mode for the most part. It is, yeah, the uh, Teminata should be reflected now. Um, at first, I I was so eager to get this up, I didn't change the name before I started. But we should be ready to roll here, and in one second, we should see what these teams are actually playing. Brawl comp out from Kulik Squad. Uh, nice to see. I think this is the first time we've seen this character play. Why is this game escaping? Somebody help me out here. You called? And uh, we're gonna see the the queen comp, the rush comp, come out from the other side here. Hey there, Moira. That's a lot of been? speed on the Is other team. They're gonna get there first. <laughs> Quick skin check while we wait for the game to start. Think you can keep up? That is a sick Reaper skin. Five, four, Look three, on the classic two, three. One. Let's see if Ryan Charge can beat the, the speed boost from the other squad. Not quite. They're going to get in there first. All right, but neither team taking the point. They're going to battle this left side here. But Blue's on above. Looks like they got to drop down. Tough angle. Kulik gets picked on the flank by Osmosis. But the res is out. But Mirasaki gets picked early again. Uh, but Red's still got the positional lead, and their tank's so low. He's peeled back up. Oz, very low. Saras somehow. Okay, I was about to say, he does not live that. But Red's going to get wiped. And Kulik getting slightly staggered. And Blue takes a point. Oh, that's actually really funny. To me. No. <laughs> yeah, no, fortunately. All right, I mean, we see, I think I've seen this every time. I think teams only approach from this left side because the rest are just kind of down in the pit. And do they see Osmosis up there? I don't think they do. Maybe Mercy just did. Kind of alone, he's forced to back off. Ryan's very low on the flank here. Doesn't quite get the shatter off. Almost would have got two with that. And Red's just going to get slowly picked. Kulik really needs to just die. But he's hanging in here. There he goes. 
And I think that's going to be the point for Blue. I don't think they have the force to contest with Kulik getting shot down like that. Maybe we'll see Ryan go in here. Got a second to the side. He does, but he gets boost back. But it forces the ult out from Pryro. They pick two, and they're going to get to the next flat point first. So I think that ultimately that ult was worth it. We in the stands have no idea where they're going. It's got to be this point right here. Yes, it is. All right, Red's here. We see the, the swap come out for Maz, for Matra. Probably going to do a better job closing the gap here. Not as countered by the Reaper. I think he's a little bit better into Queen. Time for the reckoning. We don't get canceled, but Osmosis and Sarah clean up. Blue takes it right away. Yeah, that was crisp. I'm not sure what happened to that queen ult. I'll have to watch that back. We should got stunned out of it by Kulik. That's my guess. All right, Red's going to push up here. Ah, so low, though. Oh, what happened there? The healers went to that right side. Oz must have used his alternate form just to kind of get the point. And Red's getting cleaned up here. This is a big stagger. I do think they have one last fight. Hey, up, Mr. Grant. Thanks for the cheer. Good to have you in the chat, buddy. Yeah, Blue's playing up real heavy. They do not want that contest to happen. Oz forced to kind of run past them here. He might get burnt down anyway. Now the block's too strong. But I don't think they touch. They don't have anybody with speed. And they're going to get cleaned up again. Hoop trying to fight back here. But he's completely surrounded. Now gets cleaned up. Hoop gets cleaned up. Take the objective. And man, Kulik gets caught out big time. Blue's gonna get this third one. Yeah, those headshots. Pryro really helped out at the end there. You see another tank swap. So low. Hiding behind the wall. Saki can do here. He's got the rail gun. The queen just in the back line. Running it down. They do manage to get pyro, but it's not going to be enough. Murasaki can't quite get away. Still 50% left. They got one more shot at this. But three alts out from the side of blue here. It's going to be a hard fight for Kulik's team. A good pull on the soldier, but it's not going to get anything. Thoros turrets down. Oh, Murasaki forces the contest, and his whole team's wiped already. in a dominating performance for Backroom Bandits off their latest loss. Play of the game. Let's see it. Snipe always comes out strong on tank here. Yeah, I mean, that really decided it for him. I'm surprised the McCree ult only got one despite all that. All right, now we got to save the logs here. Send them over to our resident stat machine. 
and we are moving on to what map are we moving on to let's find out together Coliseo Take a look at the map bands for this one real quick. Did I not change them over? I did not. We'll update that right now. Initiating match. For a team that just played Junker Queen, they banned New Queen Street. It's kind of her home territory. And then Esper, uh, not really. She's from Australia, but you get what I'm saying. And uh, Esperanza getting banned by Kulik's squad. I know Kulik has... Uh, explained. He doesn't really like that map too much in the past. So that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, it's tough to think that the uh, the morale isn't a little low after that. But you know that you got to break through that. You got to stay strong, and you got to uh, you got to come back into the next round thinking you know it's a brand new game mode. We'll do better here. Flashpoint's really all about the team fight. Push definitely also more about the team fight than most game modes. You know, so this we will see kind of a similar strat here from uh, Backroom Bandits. Same exact comp. If it worked, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But uh, Kulik swapping off the McCree Murasaki onto it. And I think the Arisa will do a lot better into the Queen here. You know, he, Arisa has a lot of tools to physically stop the Queen from running onto the back line. Five, four, yeah, Cosmos, anything can happen here. early by the queen squad try to get a cheeky pick on the left look out for him Snipe looking for that opening looking for the next target to pick they might find it in Oz oh, Murasaki deep that's going to be the target they take oh house is done isolated on the flank and Oz with no more not enough support left. And poop nowhere to teleport to. Another clean wipe here. Fire playing the aggressive angles. Get some damage in. Almost finds one, but gets picked early. Kulik might be soon to follow, though. He really needs to take some cover. He's got a support. And he finds another one. This is the response that the push bandits needed. So Rao's going to drop as well. And Queen's just gonna back off. You can't hide. This way. Pull it with a cheeky sonic arrow. Make sure nobody's coming up on the flank here. Snipe more interested in the squishies. In the tank, smart play. Oh, I think they'll find cool if they do. Oops, in trouble. And Red's gonna fall here. Yeah, the rest of the squishies go. Nah, it's just gonna rush into him. No need to stagger. I mean, I think Hanzo's a decent answer here. If he can maintain his distance from the queen, you know, we can see success. He's just gotta make sure that the, the Reaper and the queen don't dr jump on him. The queen in the back line. Not good. Takes another two. Three down from the side of red. Two down from the side of blue. And all of the red soon to follow here. Oz still floating around somewhere. Oz taking the card. Got no health. And right after this, he's going to have no resources. 
But that... That was a decent amount of push that he just took away from him. Now they can actually contest from up here slightly. Yeah, nobody's pushing the payload now because they're trying to gain this... Gain this ground and regroup. They don't really have a way to take this high ground effectively. They got a, the Torb is not quite enough. Oh, wait, they're all there. Yeah, no, they are. Uh, they're just kind of trying to let him. He's never going to outpoke the enemy. Torb gets away from Oz. Oz super overextended here. Torb finds one. Support straight. If they can take Oz down here, that's their answer. All the food's going to go. Rob plays him on the Torb. The Red's going to fall again. Forsaki not going to get away. Viro once again. Playing aggressive. Trying to get some picks. Or maybe just build an alt. If they can engage with Katsuna here, that's, that could win them the, the thing. One alt on the side of blue, and that's it. Pyro with a great flank right there with Osmosis to back him up. And that's going to be a decisive team wipe. That was quick. Only one alt used. They still got Katsune for this fight. Only against the Mercy ult. If they can pick Pyro here, that's, that's what they need. Pyro just sending these shots down range. Only needs a couple headshots. I'm waiting for this Kitsune to pop. There it is. Queen ults out. Going after Poop. We've seen him do this almost every time. And all the squishies are going to fall. Poop have won one health. And they're going to keep Oz out in the open. That could be it. Let's see. Are they going to play the doors here? Yes, they are. Oz not sure where to look. Makes a decision. Abandons Hewlett. Norman goes down. Oh, but he finds him. No. Hewlett finding shots here. Get the robot to the barricade. And it took them three alts, but they won that fight. Blue with a big alt advantage going into this next one. Osmosis alt and Lucio alt will be up soon. Blue can find an early pick here. No. He finds himself picked early. And Queen. Queen is relentless. His life is so good. He just runs past. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. He knows exactly how to play his character. And Oz just doesn't have the answer. He can't, he can't stun him long enough to keep him off his back line. Yeah, that's the key with Queen, is you just gotta call a target, rush at it, ignore everything else. Your own sense of self-preservation, everything. Ah, oh, he's getting picked. House gets away, but for how long? Oz gets picked in his ult. And Red can't get out to contest. That poo goes to backroom bandits. Now it's not over. We got one more round here. Push. Disciples playing for points at this point. Is that Disciples with two plays of the game in a row? It is. And he's just in the back line, getting way more value than Oz can because he's got the Reaper with him. And Bush Bandits need to step back and think, how do we stop this rush? And I don't know. I don't have the answer. Chat, what do you think? Moving on to game three here. We're heading over to Ilios. So it's a little messy. You can't back out of this.
All right, well, while we're waiting for them to uh, empty the tube, let's take a look at the map bands for round three here. Backroom bandits banning some good Lucio maps. Li Zhang, I mean, I guess when you're down to Ilios and Li Zhang, it really, uh, it really doesn't matter. Li Ilios is the better decision. And we are back. See what these players are gonna come out with. Let's see. So a slight, actually a big change up for Bush Disciples. This is, I mean, this is a control point. This is a much different kind of game mode than the previous two. You know, perhaps Bush Disciples really excel in these more objective based games. We lost Dorman. Oh, I want to phrase this. Let me just quote the fucking rule book. That's not how I want to do this, Starman. Yeah, that's exactly why. No, I forget. Uh, friends. Doorman, here he is. Can I invite him to the game here? Hmm. Weird. Oh, because he says spectator. Swap to blue. Fuck it. All right. Good call, Cosmos. Appreciate the heads up. I wish I looked sooner. Figured it out, though. I do have to make my way to the rule book here. Alright, here we go. The dive versus the rush. And this Farah make a difference. I think Farah's gonna do well here. It's just the Torb turret, really. I can mess Kulik up. Well, I suppose Sojourn ain't terrible. Oh, wait, no, we're gonna go on side. Oh, that could be big. Never mind, Lucio hangs onto the wall. Murasaki in the front of the line. So much you expect to see. They can drop this Torb here. Spike still doing what he does best. Finds one amid all the chaos. Is back in their spawn. Nobody's capping. Murasaki trying to 1v1 Snipe. Snipe still at full health. He's got a back. 
Lucio comes to save him. Yeah, I think this is a really smart fire pick. I really think it could work out for him as long as he can stay off the ground. This map's a lot tougher than people give it credit for for far though. There's a lot of different covers for people to hide in. A lot of buildings. And a lot of ways up to higher ground. Especially for players like Lucio, characters like Lucio, Reaper. Snipe trying to pull him out of the sky. There's a lot of pressure on Murasaki to keep these dive characters healed up. And Murasaki goes down. Hoop drops. Yeah, I don't think the Ana has, has the mobility to, to keep up with the Sojourn and the Winston. Yeah, I mean, that's that's essential to what Snipe needs to do. He needs to find this on every fight. With so many ults in red, they just need to get on there. And that's what they do. If the whole team gets wiped before Kula can get in. And he can't find anybody. Thrust Snipes him out of the sky with the horrible. And another solid performance from the back row bandits after last week's match. Who could have expected such an absolutely fantastic performance from them tonight? They are one round away from taking this whole thing. And they're going to be in a good spot after this week. And we do. We see that change from Murasaki. See that change from House. Looks going to have a hard time with this support lineup. Kiriko can really do the work he needs him to do, but he's got to be a little bit more careful. But now that we've got all this mobility, I think this will work a lot better. Donna just had no protection before. She works really well in the dive, but you expect to see like a brig with her. And... Dedicating that mercy to that far doesn't doesn't give the honor the support she needs to actually see success. I don't think we've I think we've seen Juno one time so far in this league. I really like Juno with a lot of the things. I I just think her healing output is, is very high. If you've got a tank who values mobility, it, it makes total sense to pair. Pryro with an early pick. But that gets returned. And I'm missing all the action here. Here's this corpse is going to be something. Osmosis going in deep. Oh no, he's retreating. But, uh, oh, but they find him anyway. Great pick from Kulik. Norman goes down. It's the break red needed. They find Kulik, but it's not going to be enough. Snipe goes down. And that's not a full wipe on blue. I think Pryro escapes with his life, but it's close enough. Oh, no. Pryro died at the start of all that, I think. All right. Oz doing a great job here, just kind of controlling this space. Keeping them off the high grounds. Making them look at them. But they find Kulik amidst me saying that. And Snipe, once again, taking all this ground. Shut down the squishies. They can't get away. And they can't support their tank because they're too busy running from Snipe. Oh, that would have been the Snipe. Oh, we found him. What a Snipe. Yeah, I think Diva's really good here. 
Um, unfortunately, this team doesn't really even care about the high ground. I say with Snipe sitting up on top of it. But, like, the team doesn't need to be up here. They're just kind of up here because Steve is up here. And because they can drill. This is, I've never actually seen a main tank sit up there. That's actually really cool. Right. That was just asking for it. Great cleanse from Urasaki. But it's not going to be enough. Oz goes down in the back. And Red's going to drop. Thorman with a greedy alt here just to kind of keep him in their spawn. They're not going to give up too much ground here. Oh, the Bastion pick could be big, but he's got to land his shots. Snipe goes down. Thorman doing some work back here. Trying to get away. Is he going to get back to the wall? He, he won't. And that Bastion swap instantly turned things around. Snipe wants to be right in their faces. That's exactly where Kulik wants them to be. Have they found their answer in time here? 79% from blue. They got an early pick. Pyro low though. But nobody's looking at him. Oh, Diva finds him. But he's getting healed up. And all of red dies in the meantime. I think they're gonna find cover. Finds two with that. That's his third. And I was held on long enough to keep the point. He's got the supports here. He's gonna lose his. Oh, but he's gonna get it back. They've got a major advantage here, though. They can win this fight easy. They just gotta get up there and support Oz. You gotta look at Thorman Cooler. Oh, no. They stagger in instead of working as a team, and Blue wipes them. And there you have it. Hey, Juop, welcome in. This was actually the last game. Uh, if you'd like to join the league, hashtag join. We'll bring you to the Discord. We can get you in the sub pool. And if somebody drops out, you'd certainly be eligible to join a team at that point. But until then, uh, we would reach out if there was any sub opportunities. Uh, exclamation point. Did I say hashtag? That's my fault. Awesome. Welcome into the league. Uh, my name is Toast Feratu. If you got any questions on one of the mods on the server, you can always reach out to me. Um, folks, thank you all for joining us tonight. This was a lot of fun. Backroom Bandits 3 0 Bush Disciples after their loss last season. It's got to be a huge morale boost for them last season, last week. Uh, join us on Sunday for the next two games. Um, we will be here at 6 30 and 7 30. And I will probably be hosting again. I will see you all then. I am not going to do an interview tonight. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's all we got for you. Enjoy.